we should be live now usual drill guys if you can see and hear us okay let us know uh apologies for the lateness we had a little bit of a technical uh difficulty that is why uh luke is um broadcasting live from his phone well done for Ooh. figuring that out because i wouldn't have been able to do it anyway no, i didn't really figure it out i'm just using my phone i don't know <laughs> what, what that noise was yeah it was really weird <laughs> it was like putting out some sort of weird sort of like emergency signal do you know something we don't know luke maybe i'm just pack my bag and i'm i'm off to my bunker now <laughs> you know it is presidential election day so who knows it, it, you're absolutely right. It is. Yeah. Remember, remember the 5th of November. I don't think they have the same thing. Uh, apparently, there's lots of Amazon updates that are coming out today as well. So maybe maybe they've done it. Maybe they've scheduled these Amazon updates, apparently, that are supposed to be coming in the hope that it will get like lost in all the hoo-ha of everything that's going on with the US election. Who knows? Who's, 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 who's your pick? Who's going to win, do you reckon? <sighs> I think it's as close as it's ever going to be, but I think I'm going with Trump. I think Trump's going to yeah. win. I would rather Trump because I think, I don't know, I'm not much into politics. I've got a lot of crypto, and I know he's pro-crypto, so <laughs> if he wins, my bags are going to be a lot more profitable than if Kamala wins, so that's the reason why I like Trump. <laughs> I think that's the thing, we're not in the country, we don't know the politics, we don't, oh I mean I'm sure I'm not saying nobody outside of the country knows the, po I, I'll be honest, I don't know many in the country know the politics to be perfectly mm. honest, but I think it's, I think it's going to be a close call I don't think it'll be, I don't think we'll know by tomorrow morning uh, I think it's going to be one that's going to maybe drag on a little bit, but it will be interested and they're absolutely will be consequences for all of our businesses in some way or another with regards to what happens in the US. They always say when the US sneezes, the world catches a cold. And this is definitely going to be an impact. If it goes one way, it'll go one way. If it goes another, it's going to go another. So it's going to be interesting to, to see what's happening. So hello, everyone. Just let us know if you can see and hear us okay. Good to see everyone. We got Keir. Uh, sorry, not Keir. We got Kirsten. I always do that. I always do it. It's it comes around the wrong way. Uh, Kay, Brianna, uh, Matt, Connor. Will this be recorded? Yes, I hope so. I hope it will. Subject to technology uh, working okay. So just give us a like, love, and you know, let us know if you want to let us know. I wouldn't normally talk about politics, but it is US, and of course, big impact as well with the world of TikTok, which is what we are here to talk about today, depending on who wins mm. with regards to what could happen over there. So we'll come on and talk about that in a moment. But let me just introduce uh, Luke to everyone. If you don't know who this guy is, this is Luke. He's he's a proper TikTok guru. Um, and he is from, he used to be, he used to be like, used to be like a Facebook guru. Now you're a TikTok one. Mm. Well, you've been, you've been on TikTok for a long time. You were one of the kind of early adopters during the pandemic where you were, you know, on TikTok. And and we've sort of, uh, we've been doing it for a couple of years. I can't even remember when the pandemic was. Uh, a years it, ago, then. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've been doing TikTok about the back end of, so 2020, back end of 2022, I've been doing TikTok. So like coming up to two years now. Ah, uh, yeah, um, <coughs> was later than I thought. So we'll we'll come in and talk about that. Now, I have actually had Luke on here before. He's a regular visitor to be on the buy box. So if you want to know specifically more about his TikTok journey in terms of, you know, what he does on TikTok and how he's got that and how he uses it to be able to build income streams. And uh, we will touch on that today because it's got lots of crossover anyway. But if you want a bit of background, we'll probably not dive into your background uh, as much today. Oh, don't do uh, that. Thoughts. I know. Uh, I, I literally paused in the wrong place there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> when I said that, just got out of jail um, <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we we don't want to talk about that. Oh, Matt, <laughs> Matt has. Uh, do you know what? Again, I will sort of say it. I probably, I probably won't. I did watch some of the old. Um, what's his name? Mm. Joe Rogan's interview with mm. Trump. I don't know if yeah. anyone uh, yeah, watched seen it. that. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's worth a watch. I think it's worth a watch. You know, whatever way you're kind of leaning, it's worth a watch. Mm. But absolutely love what Matt's put there. He's put 
the mo- I'm not going to do my Trump impression because I can do one, but I'm not okay. going to do it. No, yeah. The most beautiful, no, uh, <laughs> the most beautiful w- word in the world, tariff. I actually really loved that line. It was a bit mm. ridiculous, but, you know, if if you know, you know, go on and watch it. It's whatever you think of him, whatever you think of it. I thought Joe Rogan did a really good idea. Uh, like uh, he was really straight with him. You know, mm. he didn't take any of his poop or anything like that. He, he, it wasn't like an Oprah style interview where he was like sucking up to him or anything. He no. asked him some, you know, proper questions that most people wouldn't ask. So I thought it was a really good interview in that, in that respect for sure. So, um, have a watch. It's on YouTube. Um, so they were worried it was going to get taken down, I think, but I think it's still there and it's still going. Yeah, it's 20, 20 odd million now, isn't it? Maybe even more than that. Uh, well, when I watched it a couple of days ago, it was like, I think it was around 60 or 40. Really? Shit. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Wow. So that's going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty, uh, you know, that I think will will make some minds up for people if they mm. do. That's going to be quite influential. I think. I think. Sorry, to divulge, but she done a similar podcast, but not with another big YouTuber. And I think that's had like ten percent or five percent of the views or something. So yeah. just goes to show his reach compared to hers. Oh yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> but it will be certainly interesting to watch for sure. So Luke, great to have you on here. Thanks for joining Thanks us. For so, me, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know how busy you are and uh you're a little bit under the weather today. So we we won't yeah. we won't rough you up too much and we won't ask you too many taxing questions. But any questions that you've got, guys, please, please, please drop them in the comments. My main thing that I want to talk about with you today, Luke, is I want to talk about TikTok affiliate and I want to talk about TikTok shop. So Mm. what we've realized, I mean, we've always known it, but, you know, we've been through this really safe period of time, I think, with Amazon over the last couple of years where everybody's been making hand over fist on Amazon. Amazon have just been letting, you know, anything kind of go. Yes, of course, we've had people deactivated. People have lost their accounts. But we've come out of a period of quite stable selling on Amazon where people have felt comfortable going all in on, you know, on the Amazon platform. And specifically, a lot of people have gone all in on a certain certain marketplace, where for the first time that I've been doing this, the last couple of years, that's the only time you've really, most people have said, okay, fair enough, everything's good. That's, that's relatively safe to do that. We are now coming out of that. And we have been doing so for about the last two or three months, if not maybe six months. And I think now it's really responsible for content creators and people that are in this market to show as many different options for people to be able to sell their products or different ways to build income streams. Now, you're someone, like you say, you've been doing TikTok for the last couple of years, and you did initially go on TikTok as just a creator. Um, Mm. But obviously, the world has opened up to physical selling and also TikTok affiliate. Uh, for yourself so that's what I wanted to sort of dive in on and and give people the opportunity that may not have looked at it before we're not selling anything here by the way guys there's you know no sales there's always a shameless plug at the end where you guys if you want to get in contact with Luke you can obviously Um, but really to open people's eyes to the possibility because I think if you're not considering TikTok certainly for 2025 you'll potentially not only leaving yourself open to risk, but you're leaving a lot of money on the table potentially in whatever, you know, physical product sense that you're looking at. 100%. I think um, for me, who was probably all in on Amazon for three and a half years um, and all all in on one marketplace and one business model. Um, To be honest, six months, seven, it's probably seven months ago now, eight months ago, um, I got, approach to be involved in a in a project for tiktok shop affiliate and i got involved with des who probably a lot of you know as well um with an agency called tip marketing and who we looked at it and we were like yeah let's have a little look let's see see what you know what was to be done here and and when we were looking at new starters and you know and this is tiktok shop affiliate now doing videos and Within the first few weeks, someone had made a thousand pounds from one video that took them three minutes to make. So me and Des looked at each other and we were like, 
shit. And, and by that point, we hadn't even thought about anything else. You know, I had my community, so I had th that, but I was predominantly talking about Amazon then. Well, I was 100% talking about Amazon. This came along, and, and it was something that we couldn't, well, I couldn't pass. Um, and the more we got into it, the more that we've seen how many lives were changing by this mad business model because it is crazy because why is it crazy because with the, with the amazon model you have to spend so much money to make money mm -hmm. with the tiktok shop affiliate you don't have to spend any money or very minimal money to make money all you have to do it invest is your time and your effort and your consistency if you do that over a longer period of time you might not make 10 grand a month it, it's up to you but you will make money from doing it the hive is a group of online sellers we specialize in amazon we're a network we're a community and we're all about bringing success to everybody through expert content and resources that you just can't get anywhere else. The Hive has SOPs, documentation, short videos, clips, long form videos, over the shoulder videos, it has everything you need, both for beginners and advanced sellers. I mean, I probably thought that I knew quite a lot about the selling on Amazon in general, but then when I joined the Hive, it was almost like I only knew 10%. We keep everything so up to date, up to date knowledge, up to date strategies. Natalie, Matt, and Johnny will just explain how it works in normal English. The best part of being at the Hive is a community. Any question you have, you can put it in the hive. And you can get just problem solved so fast. You can ask a question, there's an answer there within five minutes. We are confident that you are receiving the best level of content out of any training and resource group um, in the world. Mm -hmm. and, um, and how many people can say, you know, we all know what an Amazon business is like for the first six months. You shouldn't look at taking any money out. With this, you can take the money out if you want. Do you know what I mean? There's no software, there's no investment, no. there's no anything like that. And that's what I was actually going to ask, you know, because we're we talk about the TikTok affiliate side of things, then we'll we'll move on to talk about the TikTok shop as well, because obviously that's for physical products for brand owners, you know, and, and things to have maybe have their products sold by affiliate. So it's all a bit complex, um, you know, until you dive into the world of it. I suppose it's the same as everything, isn't it? Until you know, you don't know. So mm -hmm. Going to talk about the affiliate side of it, 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 there's not many businesses. Well, I suppose there is on the affiliate side of it where it doesn't cost you a lot of money. It's just creation of content. I think what I've seen from the TikToks uh, affiliate side of things, it's one of those. It's not an overnight success. No, definitely not. You know? no. And I think you and Des have been absolutely clear about that from day one. But I think what I wanted to ask was, um, is it luck? Is it one of those things that it's just luck? Um, I think probably a little bit of luck. I think if you hit a banger, it might be an element of luck there, but I think consistency and structure and how you structure videos, I think there's an art in that. I think um, anyone can do a viral video, as in anyone can do a viral shop video and just be lucky. Like i done one today because I've got an account that, I put my face on. I, I do it to test things and test new ways of doing things where I am a lot more um, risky. So mm -hmm. I don't really care. I'll swear. I'll say certain things that normally would get you a violation because I'm sort of testing it, see what I can do, looking for hacks. I've done a video. I'm not the feeling and the greatest. And it was the worst video I've ever done. Like, it was like, um, what was it? Uh, are you fed up of all of this? Um, are you fed up of this shit weather? Um, and then I've done a little speed. This is the only vitamin that I take, vitamin D3 and K2. Um, it, you know, you get a 365-day supply, um, so you don't have to worry um, until next year when we get that. Uh, something like that, anyway. I don't remember what it said. But I went on my live at 12, and I come off it at uh, five past one, and it's had 21,000 views straight away. And with a TikTok shop video, that is mental because um, a TikTok shop affiliate video, because it's not like going viral. If you said, if you put a video on TikTok, you're only going to go viral within a few hours, really, yeah. maybe 12 hours, 24 hours. With a TikTok shop affiliate video, you can go viral three months down the line 
when a product is trending and it so let's say for instance this product here right it's a, a minecraft light right this product is doing quite well now but it's not really trending that much so it's selling for a thousand a month closer to christmas this um, product might sell more so you can bank videos and then in a month's time your video videos might go viral and you might make thousands of pounds from this video um so i don't believe like anyone can do a video and be lucky but consistency over time is how you build a sustainable business now we have um four mentors in our group right and they didn't make any money for six months some of them took six months to get their first sale but consistency over time is how they have been able to make five ten fifteen grand every single month um so yeah. how do how do you maintain that motivation if you're not making any money for a certain period of time because let's face it we all live in the if you start this Amazon business tomorrow, you shop the aisles of B&M, then by next Thursday, you can have a Lambo. And that's been fed to so many people for such a long period of time that people do actually believe that, you know, believe mm. that you can get rich quick. When you come to the market with a model where you're saying to people, look, this is going to take you three months. It's going to take you six months. Uh, you might earn five quid in this period of time what are you guys doing to help maintain and keep that motivation going so the reason why we do six webinars every single week is because by we the want way every... well done you yeah i know <laughs> um i don't do six mind we've got that's why we got a team of seven so we split it between we do like two each a week um but the reason why we do so many is for one is for motivation um we get the same i think we got 600 something like that it was 700 but you know for people drop off after the first month um but you get the same 150 200 people per every call you know yeah so it, it it's really letting them know all they should be worried about in the first two or three months is consistency posting three to five videos every single day um, and we have had people that popped so far, you know, we've had some really good videos and that's amazing for the first month. I think, I, I think all it is, is, is showing them the mentors, showing them, you know, some of my accounts and telling them, look, this has took six months to get there. Yeah. Isn't one hour a day because three videos should take you one to two hours a day, right? isn't prioritizing one to two hours a day to post three videos going to be worth it to change your life in six months yeah you know and that's the way you got to look at it seven hours a week you know over four weeks oh my god okay 30 times three 90 worst case scenario 180 hours how much time do you watch on netflix guys exactly. you know that's like that's like 10 or 20 like series on netflix i think mm. it's it's one of those things and i just want to bring it back and to what you said about the consistency of anything i think consistency is absolutely someone says mark williams says i feel as though i'm on nutrition geek tv <laughs> i don't know what that means <laughs> that's that's one of our brands that we um well when the, it's the biggest brand on tiktok so oh they're, wow they're massive yeah ah cool well, I, I shall look it up. Uh, <laughs> it is. Um, but going back to that consistency and, and a, a point I think I wanted to make at that, and this applies across all business models, all income streams, every single one of them. When it comes to, you know, luck, and I that was a loaded question, by the way, Luke, I asked you that because I don't actually believe in luck when it comes to business. I believe that luck occurs because you create your own luck not mm. just random in the universe rub my you know lucky heather kind of luck you know that type of thing i think you have to create your own luck and when that viral video comes along you're there because you put the time and consistency in to pick up on that wave or that trend or, or whatever it is and that's what it feels like to me like i said i don't know a huge amount uh, amount uh, a huge amount about it i am in the group by the way great group um and uh i haven't taken advantage of starting yeah. anything yet but i have started another tiktok Doing well on tiktok though i know you i'm quite proud of you keeping your videos under three minutes so it's very I good know. for you 
But then saying that, and again, I, this is what I want to say. I've got this real today. If somebody asked me what I prefer, TikTok or Amazon, it, I would say Amazon would win all day long because it's Q4 and, uh, you know, the sales are coming in, the profit margins are good and, you know, all of the hard work is paying off. Whereas I've got TikTok, I've got this real love-hate relationship with them today. So, guys, believe me when I say it works on all levels with all platforms. So I posted it in here. I posted it on my personal thing. Yesterday, I launched my daughter's TikTok and we went viral. Uh, I had to ask Luke what viral, you know, what level of viral actually means. And he has assured me that the video has gone viral. Yeah. Um, so we launched that yesterday. I had this big high of TikTok. Wow, this is amazing. I love it. Uh, it's my daughter's channel. It, it's documenting her journey with leukemia. So it's not to be monetized it's or anything like that. And like you asked Luke earlier, it's, it's given her a boost. You know, she's not having a great time at the moment. No. So, you know, her seeing 500 odd people wishing her well, sending love, you know, it, it's given her a real boost. And today she's buzzing. She's on cloud nine. So we've got that. I've done another video. Absolutely fine. But then I've gone back onto my business TikTok, Natalie, whatever I am, Natalie Buybox. And, you know, that's been going really well. And I started to get some really good momentum going on that as well. Like Luke said, trying to stay under three minutes as much as possible. And then all of a sudden, every video I tried to release today shut me down. Oh, community guidelines. No, just no views, nothing. Uh, it just sits at zero. Um, so I think a lot today will be, I think the views today will be taken up, I don't want to talk about this again, by the general, uh, the US election, I think. No. Um, there's only so, so, you know, so many views, isn't there, every single day yeah. that TikTok give out. I think they're sort of prioritising views. And oh, Sorry, and, I mean, they, they're sat at zero for like an hour. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. yeah. So there's probably going to be an issue with... Sorry, it's not um, a vanity thing. Yeah. Oh, no one wants to watch so, me. How dare so they? So I think there's an issue with some wording in that. Send yeah. it to me and, and I'll have a little look and see. Once I, I got think, a spare hour, I can, yeah. so I can go through your videos. I do, I do need a content. Oh, 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 God. Oh, I really God. thought you'd fallen off then. No, no, no. I, Finally, oh, yes. oh, what's going yeah. on here? Yeah. Oh, my God. Your seatbelt on. Oh, God. Why is yeah. your seatbelt on? <laughs> no, I'm not oh, happy. Really oh, what's See going on here? Shut up. Yeah, come on. We are live, guys. You can, yeah. tell. you can tell from that. Uh, Andrew says, I've got to get my head around TikTok. Absolutely. And, and and I think, you know, just by slowly introducing uh, TikTok, it's it's one of those things that I procrastinated. I don't mind admitting this. I procrastinated at least for a year on going on TikTok. And I sort of gave lots of various different reasons. I'm going to be really open and honest here. I gave lots of different reasons about why I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm a long form content creator. If it's going to suit me, if it's going to do this. The reality of it is there was a bit of imposter syndrome uh, that kicked in and it was the fear of, well, what if nobody watches any of my videos? That's exactly mm. what it was. And I imagine, and bearing in mind, I'm a confident content creator. Uh, I feel I know what I'm talking about and I'm talking about what I know. Um, I'm used to doing lives. Everyone knows I hate doing recordings uh, because I feel that you can tell the cut of someone's cloth really uh, by live broadcasts, whether they're genuine or not. Whereas on a video, it's edited, you can fake stuff, you can do this, whatever. Whereas I always like to do as much as I can live. Uh, because if someone asks you a question, you know, you don't go to chat GBT and look it up. You can tell whether someone knows mm. it or not. So that's why I always like to do live. But so I sort of procrastinated on it for a little while, for a really long time. I knew I wanted to do TikTok, but I was scared. And being a confident content creator, I can only imagine if I wasn't confident, if I didn't know what I was talking about. So talk us through if somebody wants to get their head around it and they're thinking like I was thinking, which, by the way, Luke will tell you, you know, I literally posted my first three videos and I literally got over myself and spent the next two weeks telling Luke and Hayden and the people that are in our sort of group in that respect how much time I'd wasted by not going on to myself <laughs> and doing it. Um, so I got over myself pretty quickly. How does somebody who 
maybe has not done this before, does not have the level of experience. What do you say to those guys that want to do it, but just uh, just can't? They can't imagine putting themselves on camera, putting themselves out there, tripping over their words, yada, yada. You know, what? what's that advice for that? Uh, practice or film yourself um, and don't post them anywhere. Just keep just going the in the routine of filming yourself, uh, talking about, video, you know, talk about anything. Um, <clears throat> there's a certain art in content creation and it's not for everyone. So that way you can figure out if it's for you without having to post them anywhere um, is what I would do. Trial that for a week. And then if you like it and you, you can tolerate yourself on camera, don't forget everyone's content is going to be shit for the start, right? It's terrible. I look at my content from the start and it's nowhere near as good. Um, um, so just be realistic on that, that it's going to improve over a long period of time. And I go back to TikTok shop affiliate here. And the most amazing part of this is, right, uh, Natalie talked about Netflix. If you're spending an hour every night on Netflix, surely, and you, you've got an Amazon business, that's your priority, fair enough. If you can do something else that is, is going to aid your Amazon business, because what's that business going to do you don't have to spend money. It's going to give you cash flow. So it's going to make you not reliant on getting loans because in maybe three to six months' time, you can take the money. Maybe you're earning a thousand pounds a month, two thousand pounds a month from TikTok. If you don't want to invest any more money into Amazon or you want to start putting a, getting a wage, there's your wage. Mm. So you're taking the pressure off your Amazon business and it's only taking you an hour. Now, Anyone that I teach or we teach, we want this to be streamlined for you because we want, it to, we want you to do it for 6 to 12 months. We want you to really go for it. So it might take you a bit longer at the start. It might take you to do three videos a day. It might take you two hours. But everyone should be able to do it in an hour then because don't forget, you don't need highly edited videos. Most of the viral videos on TikTok are not even, are not even edited, some of them. Mm. They're yeah, realistic, um, realistic videos, natural videos. So I don't think you even have to like. I'll do. I do three videos a day on the channel. Now I've got two other uh, channels that I pay um, girls to do. That sounds wrong. Um, I pay. That really wrong. Yeah, okay. I we, pay. Can we re-edit it? Yeah, my, <laughs> yeah, I pay some of my friends. To, to do videos so i pay them a set amount and then they get a percentage of the commission right but on this third channel that i've got i've started putting my face out there because i want to test things and little hacks mm -hmm. um and if i do three videos a day now i'm quite experienced in it it'll take me no more than like 30 40 minutes to do three edit them and get them out yeah so yeah. It, all all of that is an excuse i can't do three a day you can if you prioritize a little bit of time in your schedule to do it, you can do it. Yeah. So that is an excuse for me. Yeah, absolutely. I actually did one on my TikTok channel uh, over the weekend, and I do it every week now. So yeah. where my son plays football, uh, Saturday and Sunday, I now film a video every day on Saturday and Sunday, walking from the car to the football pitch, which can yeah. be like a two or three minute walk. You know, or could, well, it could be a 10 minute walk. So I literally maximize my time as much as possible, get my phone out, look like a weirdo talking to myself. Matt started hanging around in the background of my videos now. For yeah, I've seen now. that. Yeah, I know. He's always looks a bit creepy somewhere. in the background, doesn't he? Totally, totally. Yeah. He's a hanger on. I can't get rid of him. So he's <laughs> always uh, he's always lurking around some over the place. But, you know, it's about maximizing your time. Today, again, if you are following me on TikTok and watching my channel, I created three of the loveliest videos, which I'm going to have to trash because I think I used the word Amazon too quickly and too much. Mm. Um, and I'm going to have to redo them. So if you're watching my TikTok channel today, there's going to be like 30 second videos because I got fed up and I didn't want to redo it again. So I, I made some quick ones and I made like three, probably 90 second videos. And by the time I edited them 20 minutes yeah um, the thing is um <clears throat> when i started tiktok 
Uh, there was no such thing as TikTok shop, really, then. Um, well, yeah, let's explain <coughs> the difference between the two, sorry, because as, as I understand, well, I actually understand it. I think there's three different ways of selling on TikTok. TikTok shop affiliate, TikTok affiliate, and obviously your own selling of physical products. Is that right? Yeah, so obviously TikTok shop is for brands if you want to resell. Um, and then basically what you would do, so if anyone's got a brand in here, why aren't you on TikTok? Because mm -hmm. you can, it's, for one, it's better fees than Amazon, but you can give your product out to a few affiliates, then they can push your products instead of spending, you should always have a, an ad budget, but spend spending thousands on ads to get it going. Um, so that is and that. they buy your products as well, so you don't really lose anything, right? Exactly, yeah. So they will buy your products, and then they will push it. So normally between 10 and 20% of commission, but obviously, TikTok's five to seven percent um, fees, five to eight percent, something like that. Um, Still lower than Amazon. Yeah. So, um, but the thing is, you could probably do ten percent commission. That's pretty good on TikTok. Mm. If you're if you you're selling products for forty quid, <coughs> thirty forty quid. People are still getting, even if you're ten percent commission, they're still getting three to four pound per sale. If they get a viral video and it makes a thousand sales, that's between three and four thousand that they get, and obviously you get more. So, it's it's what I would do first of all is if you've got your own brand, and that's what we do now, and that's what we can continue to do. We're working with brands, as small, medium, and large brands now. That obviously because we've got a massive team of affiliates. Um, you know, we're going to try and help as many brands be successful on Amazon, um, at, on Amazon, on TikTok. Um, so, if because obviously... Be successful on Amazon, send them my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, but I think personally, if you've got your own brand, you should be on both 100%. Because oh, yeah. you're better off having a slice of each pie rather than just be reliant on, on the one. Oh, absolutely. And I know for sure there are so many different brands, creators and everything that I work with. And, you know, we've ignored TikTok for a really long period of time. And it's only I've seen the power of it myself, obviously seen, you know, my daughter's TikTok take off. Like I said, that's being done for a different reason. That's about awareness of everything my daughter's going through. But like I said to you at the time, I hope at some point over the next couple of years when she's over this horrible period of her life that if she's built up a good following a good community not community a, a good audience maybe she'll enjoy doing it and she'll take mm. something on and, and she can grow something as a result of that I don't think anyone would begrudge her that obviously after you know what she has to go through on a daily basis no, of course it not. gives so many people different opportunities and like I said I love the fact whereas Amazon straight selling that's what it is. Whereas with TikTok, there's lots of different ways that you can take it. I was actually talking on my personal page to a lady called Heather. I'm not sure if she's joined, uh, in, if she's watching. If you are, Heather, say hello. Um, and she's a marathon runner, Heather. And I actually said about, um, why are you not on TikTok creating content and, you know, pushing something like what you just said, that that brand new tish, uh nutrition geeks um because she's a marathon runner one mm. so think of all but not only that she's like a record-breaking marathon runner so she I, I can't remember exactly what it is so sorry heather if i say this wrong but i think for uk women she's run like the most marathons wow. or something like she's in like the record books for something <coughs> or another and i think well Think of all the content that you could create related to that and then attach it to something like TikTok affiliate where you're promoting all of these products that help you become a record-breaking marathon runner, right? Yeah. That's, I haven't got that wrong, right? Have I? That's no, just no. like That's common good. sense, yeah, you yeah. know, to just me. Just find, to find to a few that. products that align with you. Make sure that the products are actually selling because you don't align with products that don't sell because it's going to be a hard sell so look at how, how middle ground right of, yeah of yeah products to sell. So, the, the best yeah. products to sell is to to look at a brand that's potentially that's on the app trend so get on that trend before they go parabolic because if you can get on that trend before they go parabolic you are going to make so much more so much money 
so much money. So it's about identifying these brands that are going that way and not that way or that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like but back to back to the TikTok thing, way. documenting your journey hundred percent. If anyone's got a business, like document your journey on, on TikTok because it will change your life. And you're you're talking about your passion and um, your business for free. You're potentially getting in the faces of thousands of people for free. So anyone that doesn't do that, in my opinion, is doing it wrong. Now I've I've talked about Amazon for the last two years on TikTok, but it has helped me make probably over a hundred K in profit as in off Amazon. Yeah. You know, in the last two years by yeah, by doing courses, by doing uh, mentoring by doing communities you're if you're passionate about something you, you're really silly because you're leaving a lot of money on the table now it might not be your thing to do a course or do mentoring but there's always going to be other things mm-hmm. there's going to be oh. brands that want to associate with you you know i've got brand deals that i would never have thought i would have had brand deals two years ago but i've got brand deals that people pay me a retainer for mentioning mentioning their brand in videos yeah. So that's what you could do. You could build up your um, profile to however many, and it hasn't got to be a ridiculous amount of followers. If you're in a niche, if your content's engaging in that niche, brands will come to you and ask you and ask you to do them content. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. There's lots of different opportunities. Andrew's just asked a really good question. Will it work for me selling on eBay and also help me find consignment sellers? Absolutely. One, you can use TikTok Shop to be able to resell anyway, so you can you can sell your products on TikTok. And two, absolutely creating content. You can absolutely um, use that to be able to help drive consignment sellers to you. So Mm. for anyone who is looking for a consignment seller, Andrew is someone that sells purely on eBay. Uh, I saw his award. He got a a 20-year award for selling on eBay, which, you know, that's that's not hard to come by. Uh, Sorry, it's not easy to come by. And, um, you know, and what he does is uh, we use him. He sells uh, our Amazon returns. Uh, on a consignment basis. So if anyone is looking for somebody like that, hit Andrew up. Um, you can see his details there, Andrew Milburn in the comments. So just give him a little shout out for that. Um, yes. So Andrew, again, Andrew, I've been following Andrew. He's got a really interesting story. Got me thinking he should repurpose his life story. Been doing that on Facebook. Do it on TikTok, 100%. What an interesting life Andrew has led. And just doing that type of thing. I think my obviously i've got a certain purpose and goal for tiktok which is to build on the amazon side of things and of course use as a funnel to be able to drive people to the hive i'm very Mm. open about that that's exactly you know as much as i would love to be able to say i'm there just purely out of the kindness of my heart i'm not of course there is time versus money uh scenario i do happen to enjoy doing it as well which is an Mm. added bonus which i didn't think i would Um, but ultimately it's to be able to be used as a marketing tool. That's exactly what it is. But if you don't know what you want from it, just put yourself out there and see what comes your way, you know, because I think that's definitely, I'm still very much testing uh, in, in the world of TikTok. I don't think I've hit my groove yet in terms of what works for me, what doesn't work for me, um, just test see what works for you see what and that's that is the basis of it isn't it really just yeah. seeing what works and what doesn't For, yeah doing for, less for, what doesn't. focus on value um for the first three to six months of doing anything on tiktok give out value 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 and then once you have an audience and once you have consistent engagement from you know the same sort of people all the time then if you want to do something, um, it's different for you because you've got a, um, a lot of people know you. So, But if you're new to whatever you're going into, focus, literally all you need to do is focus on giving people as much value as you possibly can um, and just be yourself. There's so many like people that are not themselves on, on TikTok and they get they get called out and, you know, they get found out, sorry. Um, do you know what? 
I've, I've honestly, it it does make me laugh. Everybody I've encountered on TikTok has been, and I've seen some nasty comments. People that you know that you know people are sad. They live sad lives yeah. under their bridges, and you know it's it's things like that never bother me at all. But I have had the reoccurring uh, comment a couple of times now of get on with it, get to the point. And my simple response every single time is, Jesus Christ, don't follow me, for God's sake. And whatever yeah. you do, don't watch my long-form content. Yeah. yeah, but I think I think, I think think it comes very natural for you to, to be very um, informative, right? So it's hard, and I do get it, it's hard to, like, cut your content because the sort of sweet spot for TikTok really is 30 to 90 seconds. Now... The longer form ones are doing quite well now, but you need to be, um, you need to give them a CTA really at the start as well. So you need to do like, not a call to action as well, but it's sort of a, like a hook. You need to favorite this video. Or if you're just starting Amazon Unique Bundles, you, you need to save this video. Then that engagement of them clicking favorite is going to push your video out a lot more. So if you've got, say, for instance, um, a video that, you want to do really well chuck a hook in there straight away of um and give them a call to action make sure that they favorite this video because if you don't need it now come back to it later because you definitely need it so it because a lot of people just go into these videos and they're they're just like there's a lot of competition on 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 tiktok so you need to stand out so the the, the way that you're going to stand out is is with a hook um and that's something that doesn't only work for TikTok shop affiliate, but it works for TikTok as well. And engagement is really important. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jackie says TikTok can be really demanding in terms of the amount of content it wants from you. I think you need to be really clear with what you want to achieve. Yeah, I only, um, for my personal one, as in, sorry, my business one, quit your nine to five. Um, I only post once a day, and I've only ever posted once a day. I do sometimes post two or three times, but for me, once a day seems to be a sweet spot. And I know I can. I'm going to go. I'm going into more of these like Alex or Mosey whiteboard videos because I actually really enjoy doing them. Um, so I'm starting I to just do. Got your just, whiteboard out. Yeah, just do doing them. But the reason why I do it is because I put my handwriting worse than it actually is. That is going to drive comments about my hand handwriting, they and say then that's that going to give you more. Right? So, um, I filmed one the other day, right? And I'm going to put it for shock factor. I done this. Well, I haven't put it out yet, so I put this on. Can't see me. Put that on. Um, one of these nose no, things. So, I, I, and then I, I literally done a video. I didn't even mention it. So I'm I'm really excited to see if that does any you know if that does well because if you spark curiosity or mm. if you put something out there that it's gonna like another one is like if you're I don't know doing faceless for instance for TikTok shop affiliate do something wrong as in drop the product or if you're stirring your tea stir it everywhere so people oh. are like oh my god look at the mess. Yeah, I I'd be that. I would be that person. What is wrong yeah. with you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So but every mean... time someone comments, that's going to be pushed out more. You have to be really smart with engagement because if you're not getting engaged videos, you're not going to pretend, you know, you're never going to go, you know, not even viral. You're not even going to have very good views. Um, mm. I've noticed because I was doing Amazon, only Amazon, talking about Amazon, right? I'd done a little bit about community building and stuff like that, but it was predominantly Amazon up till about six months ago. I only really started talking about TikTok shop affiliate probably six weeks ago, really, yeah. um, because obviously we were bringing out our thing, and I weren't 100% sure on it like for a good few months. So I wanted to be 100% sure before I started doing content. But because TikTok shop is trying to basically compete with Amazon, which I don't ever think they will 100% compete with them. Oh, but that was they, the title of this uh, thing. We yeah, didn't ask yeah, that, so there we yeah. go. There's the um, answer. You have to watch yeah. that one. So, um, yeah, I, I, I found that they were suppressing my videos because normally if I get a video, it does like 
I don't know, three, five, ten thousand. But I noticed up in about three, six months ago, they started suppressing my videos because they're not pushing out Amazon influencers anymore. Yeah. And even the big ones, like my business partner, Jack, and he doesn't get as many views. Des, the same. We're yeah. all in the same boat. There's loads of other ones as well. It's a lot harder when we were just talking about Amazon. But now we talk about TikTok as well as talking about Amazon. They push out your TikTok videos more, obviously, because they're going to earn more money. But they, if you do it, they're not suppressing the Amazon videos as much. Yeah. Because of this new partnership that I've got, they've got with Amazon, because I think they're mm. going to make a lot of money with that. Um, they probably wouldn't do it. But it's a lot harder if, you, if you're just talking about Amazon now. And that's why I think that you should talk about other things as well and well, talk about. Yeah, talking about like um, e-com and, you know, things like that, that you can talk as much as you want. So you can not only get um, your Amazon crowd, but you, you're getting a different crowd as well. So ultimately that will help you grow your social media a lot faster then as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's one of those things for me. It's still very experimental. I love it. I will be carrying on doing it. Uh, I'm not too bothered about the size of the audience i've always operated on a very small audience anyway mm. uh but i've always been able to have a highly engaged i will say we are small but we are mighty yeah. so you know we, your roi your roi must be amazing on your audience to be fair yeah oh no absolutely so we 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 know what we our goal is always to engage and to give mm. the best value that we can. You know, the stuff that we've pumped out over the last month or so in this group, in the hive, you know, and everything like that. I don't think there's anyone that can match us uh, mm. in terms of the level of value that we give, especially on the free side of things. Paid, you know, other people, it's all subjective. Of course it is. Uh, but on the free side of things, and you know, that's always it. You've got to be able to, you know, and this is, I think, an understanding, especially of what you're talking about, Luke. And it's probably even more, it's more so than the other way than the 80-20% rule, is 80% of the work that I do, I do for free. That mm. drives 20 and that drives the 20%. 80% yeah. of everything I do. And some people can't get their head around it. I'll be honest, Matt, my husband, never, ever, ever would be successful in doing this because he's just not prepared to do stuff for free. He's mm. just not. It's as, it's as simple as that. So I think if you want a certain level of success in content creation, in affiliate, you have to accept the majority of your work that you're going to do is, is, is going to be just purely to provide value and you're not going to get, and you're going to get 80% of those people are just going to be there for the free stuff and you've got to be okay with that. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. You know, and I think... If you do that over time, you know, you've already got, and I don't want this to be like salesy and that, but you've already got, you know, warm leads that people, and, and people trust you. So when you want them to convert into something, your trust is there. And that's from all the work that you've done over the last few years, giving out as much free content and free value as you possibly can. But you can't leave it too long either, guys. And this is a content creation. You know, I've never been ashamed of the fact that I charge for knowledge. I've never mm. understood people that build up something, you know, and they're sort of like, no, it's all free. I'm never going to charge. One, I never believe anyone that's going to say that said to that day one because it's just not sustainable. No. Why would you do it? You know, and and it's not smart either to be no. able to do it. It's simply not. But you can leave it too long. If you take it too long, before yeah. you create a paid offer, then everyone hates on you. Yeah, exactly. I had it when I done my um, when I first brought brought out my Discord like two years ago. Um, I done three four months of pure value for people, um, and I was getting messages when I brought this out. I was getting messages. Are you really disappointed me? At that time, I it hurt. You know, when I was getting these messages from people that were really good engaged people on my but now i'm like if someone says that to me i'm like you don't know me i don't give a shit what you think like i know i'm coming from a good place i know i'm not that typical guru that's gonna rip you off i focus on value and i will only put my name to something if it's at the highest of quality 
and value for money. So once you get into that and you, you sort of, um, you know, you accept that, because you are, if you start TikTok, you're going to get some horrible comments. And if you have yeah, any insecure, yeah, you need you get, to Yeah, if you have any insecurities about anything physical or mental that you've got, you will get found out and they will, the trolls will start coming. It's how you um, adapt to them and how you take them. So, yeah. I think if you throw your toys out the plan, they sense that. It's like a weakness, yeah, isn't it? You know, exactly. whereas I think Matt even said it to me yesterday. I have started, and it's a sick world that we live in that you think that this is the case. But Matt said to me yesterday, he said, you've got to be prepared now on Indiana's TikTok that yeah. people say some pretty horrible, F horrible things. Up things. But the, these and people, these you people. You need to be prepared that the people are going to say some really horrible stuff about Indiana. Yeah. And that's, I would say, so if you're watching and do, and you do this, you're an arsehole after I say it, but mm. that, that's probably my only weakness, you know? Yeah. That, but, but, that, then, but that at the end of the day, it's your daughter. So you're going to be more protective of, of her yeah, than yourself. Kids. Absolutely. You know? I remember being on Beyond the Buy Box once uh, a little while ago and some weirdo who I now know who it was. And it's funny, Sean said it. He says uh, someone's giving him crap on TikTok and you'll be surprised. Drop me a, a DM. I, you can't leave me with that information. I don't expect you to say it publicly, Sean. You need to tell me who that is about. Uh, I know that there's a couple of massive trolls that run, uh, you know, these. I've got a story on this and I might even dip a name in. So we'll. Uh... Oh Will my God, no, no controversy. <laughs> I do not want any name. I don't want the shit. Thank you very much. I do not need. I just I uh, need. just go over a story, like a quick story on 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 uh, trolls, right? So I got a really good friend, um, a young girl, Jazz, right? Um, Jazz FBA, she's on TikTok and things. And she gets some horrible comments because she's a young girl that's absolutely smashing it. And she is not, they're not even troll ones. They're even putting their bloody face on it, which is the most ludicrous thing. The most horrible comments about a woman, a young woman doing well, telling her she's talking nonsense. She don't know what she's doing. And this is a 40, 50 year old man. And I'm like, what are you doing, mate? Grow up. I hate that. That's one of the things that I hate is young women or even young men that are doing really well and then they get try to get belittled by you know people that are older and they think they know it all there's a couple on tiktok oh my god there's one i'm not gonna name him he's not a troll he's a content creator if you question something that he said he knows it all he literally knows everything and, and i know who you're talking about yeah I've seen yeah some of his videos and believe me when he's i say pit. The stuff that comes out is not correct a lot no, of the time. It's, it's really I, bad, um, very, very bad content. And you know, the funny thing is, is he's was bad mouthing TikTok affiliate. And guess what he's doing now? Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's always yeah. the way. Yeah. It's always the way. I think you've you got to develop, um, you've got to develop thick skin. And I think it's one of those things that, been doing this long enough and yeah like i said uh, i've been on a previous live and someone started talking about my kids and putting pictures up of my kids as i was on the live like trying to so you know that's the only thing that's going to uh, throw me but oh, even i've cut, yeah, i know talking about like abusing and stuff like that it, yeah yeah while i was on a live and to be honest i i credit myself with it you wouldn't have known i got a little bit flustered but then i sort of recovered you know blocked them and good job i ran on the live i would have told him <laughs> fucking oh, straight sorry I for never, sparing yeah no i you wouldn't know it from me i can i'm pretty cool at you know, I'm pretty good at retaining my call. Matt will say that if ever there's an issue, I'm always the most controlled person mm. uh, in dealing with it. Um, but anyway, you know, you get these weird, you, you get these weird, horrible people that live a sad little life. Unfortunately, I never like to say this. I really never like to say this because I think it's a cop out in a lot of cases. But jealousy, envy in these type of scenarios really does fuel a lot of it but i don't know why people do that because a lot of the time 
what people talk about and what people show and, and things like that, a lot of the time it's, it's out of context and it's not mm. what people think anyway. You know, just be happy knowing, be, you know, happy knowing that actually it's okay. Um, live your own life walk your own path, do your own journey and, and be content. I think it comes down to a level of contentment that you have within yourself. And like you said, if you've got insecurities, if you've got mental health issues, if you've got these type of things, you might have to accept this isn't for you. Um, mm. You know, if you, I, I know people that have been driven mad, you know, by it in, you know, Ray said there's hardly no friends on TikTok or Amazon. It can be really upsetting. Well, hopefully you, Ray, you know, the ones that, you know, are genuine and are not genuine. I think people do find those type of people and, yeah. and the, the they go for easy people. targets as well. Or they think there's easy targets, you know. They'll 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 do cop out comments that are easy. You know, it's like just just grow up. Do you know what I've started to do? Because I've got my mother on TikTok, I've got my aunties, my cousins and I don't want them seeing horrible comments about me. I just delete the comments straight away now. Or because I'm big time, I have a social media manager. So, they, <laughs> so she will, I said to Sophie, any bad comments, delete them. I don't care about engagement. Do you know what I mean? I, I really don't care. I don't want my mother seeing that horrible comment about my, something about me physically. So like, and then the funny thing is, right, I've had, because I'm one of them people that if someone says anything and tries to badmouth me, I'll and and this isn't like a physical. I won't take them comments down. So if they saying if they're questioning what I'm doing or my knowledge, and they they keep doing it, I'll leave them on right. But I'll yeah. message them individually, and I'll say, you know, do you want to chat on the phone or something? Normally, see it, block it, gone. Do you know what I mean? That's the easiest way to deal with trolls is be really nice, ask them for a conversation. 99.9 .9 times out of 100, they will not have that conversation with you because they're not actually that person who they say they are. Well, you know, a lot... Oh, no, sorry to interrupt, Luke. You know, uh, Ray, I will come back to your comment, but you know for my own personal thing that I had an issue with a, a troll and someone mm. who's a big bully uh, in this space. And I literally called it... I, rang him up i yeah. rang him up and he wouldn't pick up the phone yeah he wouldn't pick up the phone to me because i thought i'm not having it anymore and um Do you know it's funny you go back on the jealousy thing and 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 to be honest i've been out of the amazon sort of community i think um i've got a, a few good very very good friends like yourself and matt and hayden and des and people like that who i talk to about amazon but for me I, i'm not in the loop i'm not in on the facebook stuff and things like that but when I was, it was so, like, it's like anything, so toxic. When you start to do well, you see other people that run other communities trying to steal your ideas or badmouth you or whatever you want. What are you getting out of it? Absolutely nothing, you know, because you can't... It's like you, you probably had it loads of times, you know. It's like, but they can't keep up with your work ethic then, so they fail. It's just mad. Well, that's what I always say, you know, my content and everything's been copied. And, I, you know, I'm used to it. It's one mm. of those things. I'm not one of those that is big enough person to say, oh, I'm flattered. No, I think you've taken my no. content and you've monetized it and you've done it yourself. But I am that person that does think, where does my content end? And providing someone is actually doing it and doing it well, and where does their, you know, where where where's that? Where do I end and where do they start? So mm. you know, I'm never going to have issue with anyone that takes my content, creates something good with it, and then shows other people how to do it. But what I do have issue with is people that come into the hive. And they don't, they think we don't know, you know, yeah. the, the funny thing, they come into the hive, they absorb all of the information, they send a cancellation notice, and then next month they set up a school. You know, Do you know what? what? Do you know what, right? What, you said what that. What do you think happens in that scenario? And then yeah. they're like, oh, I've just decided it's not for me anymore. Yeah, yeah right. Okay. So, so what, on, on school, you have a thing called churning, right, which is cancelling. We're going to put something in place now, and I've already done it on my other community, but this community, if you churn, you're out. I don't care if you've got 28 days left. 
you are not joining our community and getting in the webinars. If you if if you cancel, you've given up on that. In my opinion, if you cancel something, you've given up hope on that business model. So we don't want you lurking in and around our community if yeah. you know you're going to cancel and leave in ten days. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm too. I'm too soft. I, I'm like, oh no, you can stay. Not you can stay, but you know, you can do this. I think the worst thing, and this has happened to me for years, and Ray, I will come back to your comment. Uh, it's happened to me for years. The amount of people that leave the hive, go off and do it. I've had people actually say that they've left the hive to go and learn from someone else. Mm. Then they come back to me two, three months later, not even say I'm going to rejoin the hive, but they've said, yeah, this has all kind of gone wrong a bit. How do I fix it? I had someone mm. said to me a couple of months ago, oh, you know, unique bundles. Can you send me everything I need to do not to, you know, to avoid it? And I said, well, you need to join the hive. That's where we talk about that sort of stuff. Yeah, I just don't want to pay out at the moment. You know, it, it is crazy Get away, the then. Yeah. that people sort of have. But I, I put, oh, sorry. <clears throat> All right. I put a warning in the hive last week where I said, if if you leave at this point, you know, when we've got this period of uncertainty, because there's so much amazing stuff that's coming in the hive, this mm. is about the only time, what I'm not going to tolerate is people leaving <coughs> until we fix everything and then just coming back. Yeah, you know, I hate you, that, yeah. Yeah, you you know you've got to stay in it for the long run. You've you've got to be there. I understand people, you know, come and go. Absolutely, that's part of it. But you know, if I identify you as a user, then that's different for sure. But you're in the best. The, if you're doing bundles, you're in the best place for bundles. So it's where bundles started. You know, all, all the other communities. Not according are, to the other school no, uh, community. Well, well, in the UK, anyway, there might be some in the oh, US as well. well. I think yeah. in the world, definitely. But no, what I'm saying is, you know, people come in and, and, and there's lots of politics. But I want to pick up on what Ray said about, you know, Mark from Passive Tax, what a scumbag he was protected. Oof, yeah. Believe me when I say you won't believe how many people are protected in this. If somebody is getting paid, then they are getting protected. It is yeah. as simple as that. There's been a massive thing recently um with someone that's been very protected because someone got paid a lot of money uh, or people got paid a lot of money and you know maybe it'll come out one day maybe it won't i'm not going to be the person to do that there's, lo sure. there's loads of sneaky people like i'm very saying in any space do you know what i mean any little space that you're in there's always going to be sneaky people that you know want to get to the top and they're, they're ready to do anything to get there and shit on anyone, sorry for swearing, but shit on anyone to get their way up there. It's yeah. just it's just the, the part of the world. You know, you get it in TikTok as well. It's not just Amazon. Um, but the one thing, I, you know, the one thing I want to, that I love about TikTok Shop Affiliate is, you know, with Amazon, it's sort of you're against its competition, right? So mm. it's you against everyone else, as in, obviously you can have be in communities and you can have smaller groups that you're in and things like that. Um, but essentially, your business is competing with everyone else's. Um, uh, with TikTok Shop Affiliate, the more people that are doing it, pushing a brand, so say, for instance, the reason why Nutrition Geeks are number one on TikTok is because everyone was doing videos on TikTok uh, on, about Nutrition Geeks. And the more people that done it, the more viral videos will come in. So the more money everyone else made because Nutrition Geeks went to the top. Yeah. So that's that's another reason why I absolutely love it now because it's sort of more of a, a community aspect. Is in, I love that part. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work for sure. Don't worry yeah. about it, David. I wasn't talking about you. Uh, I believe me, I know the people I'm talking about there. So please. Yeah. You, you it was you. Remember. It was you, David. Okay. It, it was you. It was 100% you, David. Yeah. Just shh, don't tell anyone. No, honestly, I know the people I'm talking about and the people I'm not talking about. And you are not one of them for sure. Ray's done phenomenally well on TikTok. But Ray, give us a shout out. What's your TikTok channel? Um, I love Ray. Ray and his son. Uh, Rain, what what, what Ray, Ray is it? Oh, yeah, it is Ray Nation, Nation, is it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't so, even know. 
I love yeah. Ray. I haven't seen him for years. Yeah, he's he's phenomenal. He does live selling on TikTok. It's brilliant. I didn't know that. I have to check him out. Yeah, absolutely. Drop your link, uh, Ray, and I'd encourage anyone. If you want to brighten your day, even if you're not going to buy anything, he'll probably kill me for saying that, but even if you're not going to buy anything, make sure you follow Ray because he absolutely... His own branded stuff or is it... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, if uh, if you follow him, he'll definitely brighten up your day. And I think there's just good people in the world and definitely raise one of them for sure. Love it. So, um, yes, we shall move on from the world of, uh, you know, scumbags and scoundrels uh, for sure, because I'm sure we'd be here all day. But, yeah, Sean, you got to let me know who that is. I'm just uh, literally, literally... Uh, yeah, I, I need to know. I won't be able to sleep tonight otherwise. Racism, I'm just a normal guy. I got lucky. Pop your uh, pop, pop your TikTok y thing. I don't, what is it? A TikTok handle? Handle, is that, handle is yeah. It handle. I am so not down with the kids. <laughs> Embarrassing <laughs> myself for saying something. So, um, Luke, I know you've got to go. Um, so I think we covered most things. TikTok is definitely part of the plan for the future for us. I'm launching a new brand in the UK. And for the first time ever, it's going to be probably as close to a joint launch with Amazon as, I mean, it will always be Amazon first. I think if you're launching a brand, that's the the best place yeah. you know, still to launch it, <laughs> depending on what it is, obviously. Um, but it, very soon afterwards, we shall be launching. A couple of other people said, sorry, I will just say, um, and I've always understood this, if you've got your own brand that you can sell it yourself, and then, of course, you can sign up for an affiliate, right? Mm. Yeah, of and course you can. And you can have other yeah. people sell those products. So, yeah, that's an option. That's what I love about TikTok is there's so many different monetization uh, options. So just as a final question for you, Luke, is TikTok getting banned in the US? What do you think? Uh, it depends on who gets in. Um, I don't think it'll ever be um, fully banned. Um, some, element, some elements of it might get banned, but I think the US... Um, I don't, it's really hard to... Because I think if Trump gets in, there's no chance of getting banned. Yeah, I agree. But I think if, if Kamala gets in, I think there's... Them, I don't think they can do it because... The money that TikTok makes, and I know it goes to China, but it's still with things like um, fulfillment. There's going to be loads of fulfillment centers in the US, which is obviously generating income for the US. So I think there's going to be too much money that they lose out on. Um, they have to come up with an agreement because I think, apart from Amazon, I think TikTok is going to be the biggest shopping shoppable well, um shoppable uh platform in the world it's going to be like qvc you know yeah absolutely and i think they're gonna want to combat the timu and the sheens of yeah. the world as the only way that they can do it is by utilizing platforms like that and tiktok to be able because the 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 stuff that trump doesn't so you've got one side of it where kamala uh or kamala kamala, yeah, kamala. Uh, um doesn't want tiktok but then uh Donald does not mm. want Sheen or Timu. Yeah. So, you know, it's 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 a it's a balance between the two. So I think personally, what will happen is I don't think it will disappear. I think a bit like they used to do, they don't do it in France anymore, but I don't know if anyone knows this that um in France years ago, you could not have a foreign-owned company as the major shareholder. You just simply right. couldn't do it in France. So um you can now but you didn't used to be able to. So like Disneyland Paris, the reason why it was all in French when it first came out, I, I know it's in France, guys, before anyone mentioned it, but it had to be owned by a French company. They had mm. to have the 51%. Disney never did it, but they, Disney have slowly been buying it back uh, over the years because the laws have loosened. So I think that is what will happen with TikTok. I think they will be forced to sell yeah. part of it, the majority shareholder of it, to do you know American what? Company. Do you know what? The way that I look at this, right? Because they're already talking about multi uh, fulfillment, right? For mm -hmm. uh, all countries. So they, they're going to open it up in Europe, they're opening it up in Ireland, um, the UAE, and obviously America, Canada. If the US goes down, this is a far bigger opportunity than we could have ever imagined because 
what's going to happen is the UK we'll just filter videos, over there, right? Yeah, will get filtered over there, yeah. and then we're all millionaires. Like, genuinely, that's not even a that's not even an exaggeration. You know? the, 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 the views, the views, and the product sales that we get because TikTok will pull their finger out and they'll be like, right, three to five day yeah. um, delivery. You know, and we'll get all the sales over there. That will be absolutely insane. So, from a selfish point of view, I wouldn't mind that. Well, um, you know, and obviously, I don't want people to be. It's the same thing how I feel about the unique bundle situation at the moment. Um, yes, I know lots of people are going to be impacted, us included as well. But there's always a good opportunity for a clean state, uh, clean slate, to be able to reset, restart again, and go and do that. And once we get over the shock, I spoke about this last week, we've had the shock. A lot of people are now in the fear zone, although the fear now is starting to go for different reasons because we've not heard anything. So mm. I've literally heard people saying, oh, don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it now. Um, mm. Whereas we, we, we can't not worry about it because it is going to come and it is going to happen here. But I think with something like that, once you get over that shock and fear, then there's always opportunity. Yeah, that's all. 100%. That's all that's left. It's it, only it's, opportunity that is left. That's the way you got to look at it. It's overcoming and adapting. If you're not uh, able to adapt as an Amazon seller, you're not going to make it. So, uh, yeah. how many how many times have we adapted over the last four and a half years? Now, probably well, about probably 20, like, 30 times. One made a really good point. We're saying about the hive. You know, when I think about the first content that even went in the hive, which is only eighteen months old, it was ESA before that, and then I did courses before that. Jesus, you know, if 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 anybody looked at that original course that I did around unique bundles, God, you'd be like thrown in Amazon jail, never let out of, you know, it's, yeah. it, it's one of those things you have to adapt and evolve. And that's why you pay a monthly sub, guys. It's yeah. not because I mean charging everyone a monthly sub. It's so everyone can have the most up to date information. That's what it, you know, that's what it comes down to. And it's, and it's a way, and we do it for a low price to make it affordable for everyone to have access to that information. Now, what's affordable is going to be subject to some, you know, subjective to some people, obviously, but I have to look at it time versus money versus effort. That's yeah. simply the way it is for sure. Um, so uh, one, one final thing, um, Luke, before I let you go, shameless plug time. Mm. Um, if anyone wants to get in contact, if anyone wants to watch your content, you're a really funny guy. Honestly, your content does make me laugh. Uh, I hope that's what you intend to do anyway. <laughs> hmm. um, I know I know. So a lot of the time you're being serious, but your funny ones do really make me laugh. So, uh, Angela, you are OG. There is no doubt. You are G. You are G. There, it's as simple as that. Um, so what's your what's your handle how can people watch you how can they get in contact if they want to find out a little bit more about tiktok where do they find you yeah so uh, you're oh, better off just going to quit your nine to five so quit your nine to five on tiktok it's uh, not like nine two it's nine yeah. t o five, no no right? no nine oh, old that? numbers yeah nine oh, two sorry. five yeah uh quit your nine to five to, send it uh, into a loop dupe yeah and um my Instagram is, I don't even know what that is, quit your nine to five today, I think it is. Um, so, yeah, if you want to learn more about TikTok, uh, shop affiliate, there's loads of videos on there. There's, there's hours worth of videos on there. So get cracking on that. Any cool. questions, just just drop, drop me a DM on TikTok. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I really appreciate that, Luke. While you're there, guys, follow me, Natalie by at natalie by box and um i posted yesterday my daughter's channel as well which is indie structable uh so that is there's there's no selling or anything like that it's just following her journey it's amazing actually the amount of people that sort of are impacted or affected by this awesome. horrible disease and you know so if you're looking for a bit of light-hearted stuff um oh i think someone's put something on there uh, I'm not sure. Where's Cindy when you need her? She's having a day off today. Normally she posts all the links and, and everything. I mean, I think Johnny might have posted something earlier anyway as well. So, But we'll get the links up if, every, if anyone needs it. So, guys, I'm not 100% sure. Next week I think we're on a break uh, purely because my daughter's going in for an op next Tuesday. So um, we will... 
uh, obviously be there for the hive. Johnny and Luke are going to, not you, Luke, Luke Dugan, uh, other Luke <laughs> is going to be, he's the one at Quit Your 92 TW5. Um, he, they're going to be there next week. So um, if we will, if there is going to be a Beyond the Bible, I'll, I'll let people know. If not, we'll be back the following week. So thank you for having, uh, thank you for coming along, Luke. Uh, really great. It's good to hear about not, Amazon doom and gloom for one. Yeah. So something to hear about something really positive. So, like I said, if anyone wants to contact Luke, please make sure you do so. But have a great week, everyone. And Luke, keep on TikToking. Thanks. You too. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. See you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.